let's talk about bacteria in the GI tract. So it starts with our mouth where there's millions of bacteria, followed by our stomach, which doesn't have much bacteria at all because not much can survive at a pH of one to two, which is really acidic. Then our small intestine is relatively sterile. There shouldn't be a lot of bacteria in there. And then we have our colon, which is loaded in bacteria. It has trillions of bacteria. So this is all a delicate balance. And if something is affected, it could impact other parts of the GI tract. For example, if you have low stomach acid because you're taking a proton pump inhibitor or because of hypothyroidism or an H. pylori infection, this could allow bacteria to start growing in your small intestine and it could lead to SIBO which is small intestine bacterial overgrowth, which can cause a lot of bloating, discomfort, and IBS symptoms. So when we treat SIBO, we actually have to correct the stomach acid, sometimes by supplementing with betaine and pepsin. So everything in the GI tract is actually interconnected.